pending live Dazmio protests? And secondly, was this particular rogue officer a man on a mission with specific instructions? Earlier on, the same cop was captured on camera in the CBD executing his mission. However, it is curious that in this video, which we cannot independently verify, although he appears in the same outfit near Kencom bus terminals, it shows him having an earpiece indicating that he was receiving instructions from elsewhere and not the commander on the ground, which perhaps explains why he was parachuted from the CBD to pipeline area to lead the attack against journalists and vandalize the vehicle carrying them. It is believed he is a regular police officer from Kampunji, attached to a senior police commander. The police officer was recruited in 2006 and posted in Garbatula before being transferred to Narok. He would later be posted to Kayole where he joined the SPIV unit, the special unit tasked with scaling down the marauding gangs. He worked under Adamson Bungay during his time as OCPD Buruburu and Central Police Stations in Nairobi. When President Ruto took over power and the special units disbanded, the officer was left without clear roles. The police officer would later be posted to the National Police Headquarters and reporting at the Nairobi area station. Curiously, at this time, Adamson Bungay had also been posted back to Nairobi as the county commander. In his briefing on Sunday, this is what the Inspector General of Police said. Tachukua picha. Yote ataonekana, akibeba mawe, akibomu, akiaribu mali. Tutachukua tua. Well, this officer has been caught on camera vandalizing a vehicle. Will he be arrested? Over to you, IG Kome. Duncan Haimba, NTV.